The garden contained many specimens or varieties of plants. What does the word or mean then? Well, the word varieties defines or Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of Something Has Me Disgusted. I planned for this to be a series so leaving a like on the video would really support the series and would definitely make my day. So, Edgenuity has me disgusted. Before I begin to tell you why Edgenuity is so bad why don't you hit the subscribe button. It's free and you can always change your mind. For months Edgenuity has tried to hunt down and take down websites, YouTube videos and articles that try to explain why Edgenuity is so bad. The reviews on Edgenuity are awful and I'm almost 100% sure they try to make fake accounts so they can say good reviews about their own program, which I don't even think is legal. I don't know if you know this, but I made a fire distract about Edgenuity. The link is in the description, you should seriously check it out. Now, if you don't know what Edgenuity is, it's supposed to be a learning platform for children, including children under 14 years old. What Edgenuity doesn't want you to know is that the program typically takes 8 to 12 hours just to do your work for one day. The Edgenuity teachers make cringy smiles at the end of their videos. Edgenuity is filled with glitches and bugs. Edgenuity has horrible Edgenuity instructors that lead students using Edgenuity to fail their classes. The videos take 40 to 60 minutes to watch, because the Edgenuity teachers like to explain what they teach in a longer and complicated way, and they talk really slowly, which results in children quickly getting bored and tend to dislike learning. There is a website called Citigiber, an Edgenuity website that shows what people think of Edgenuity. The link to the site is in the description. There are tons of Edgenuity hate reviews and so many 1 and 2 star reviews and the 1 5 star ratio on Edgenuity is pretty bad. I also put a 1 star rating lol. However, there are fake 5 star reviews made by Edgenuity, and they are so fake that it's obvious Edgenuity made them. Here are some of the quote unquote good reviews about Edgenuity. And they are just weird. Helpful and committed to serving educators and students. Edgenuity support is committed to serving educators and students. The online automated service, live chat, email assistance, and live tech support all work diligently to resolve an issue on my dashboard in a timely manner and with friendly service. They were caring and willing to go above and beyond to find a solution so that I could continue giving my students my best. Weird right? They're so bad at putting fake accounts and making fake reviews that it's just so unanimous that they're trying to lie and manipulate people to buy their evil program known as Edgenuity. How childish can this program get lol? Here is another one. Edgenuity. The team was very helpful and were fast in responding. They walked me through the steps of fixing the issue and were very persistent in making sure everything was working again. Edgenuity froze in my science class so I couldn't continue working on it. It is working now and I haven't had issues since. Overall, Edgenuity is a great website for online school and I really like how it's formatted. Do I even need to say anything? They are obviously making fake accounts and putting fake reviews. How childish and babyish can Edgenuity get? LOL Edgenuity was probably made by 10 year olds. But luckily Edgenuity wasn't able to achieve this sinister scheme because there are way more 1 and 2 star reviews than there are 5 star reviews. At least Edgenuity failed at that miserably. It honestly disgusts me that little kids under 14 years old have to also put up with this program. And if you don't believe that there are a ton of one-star reviews, check out the opinions of what some reviews parents and students have written in Citigiber. Answers can all be found on Google. The answers for every question they use can be found on Google. 
since they give every student the same questions for every topic in every unit and have been since their platform was launched. Everything is available on the internet. Edgenuity does nothing to prevent this from happening. I emailed Tech about this and they told me that my students probably had teacher accounts. I do not recommend this platform if you want your students to actually learn. This review tells you about another fact about Edgenuity. It's old. Like, it's really old. Like it's super duper duper old. It was quite literally made in the 90s. Edgenuity doesn't do anything about Brainly and Quizlet, which are the main websites used for cheating on Edgenuity. Students of the same level of learning have the exact same questions, quizzes, and tests that other students of the same level of learning have. Therefore it's easy for students to cheat online. The questions that students look up are usually found easily, and are usually answered by none other than the websites Quizlet and Brainly. And Edgenuity doesn't care to do anything about it. If you're wondering how I knew all this, I was indeed a victim of Edgenuity, and I would sometimes try to look up the answers Edgenuity would give me. Brainly and Quizlet would always be right there for me to cheat. And because Brainly and Quizlet helped me get good grades on Edgenuity, I decided to link them in the description so that other people using Edgenuity can use their websites to actually pass Edgenuity because the only way to pass Edgenuity is to cheat. And to that, I say thank you Brainly and Quizlet. Anyways, Edgenuity has forever traumatized my childhood and they has traumatized other childhoods of kids and teenagers. Let me show you more reviews, man so boring I almost fell asleep. Just started online learning with my friend Haas also doing Edgenuity. It was okay at first, but then we immediately agreed that it was just too boring and we dreaded the part of the day when we had to do it. It also turned out that one of the classes was teaching the wrong info for the test. The videos were way too long and I zoned out many times. Sometimes I find myself going on other sites to entertain myself. Definitely don't recommend. Overall poor experience and I do hope in the future our school will endorse in other learning platforms. Here is another review. The worst learning platform to have at your school district. In my experience with my child is a full-blown nightmare. He's in the 7th grade and this platform is used for the pandemic not as his overall schooling. This platform is impossible to keep caught up on. They expect way too much from these children. He's doing things that my 11th grader is doing? How is that even fair? But they'll fail him if not done. He works on it from morning till night. So don't feel bad if your child is not doing well. None of them are doing good. I wasn't kidding when I said younger kids did this program. A 7th grader, which is probably 12 years old has to do this program. A literal 12 year old child had to suffer working day and night, as if he was some 19 year old college student. This is one of the many reasons I personally hate Edgenuity. Here is a couple more reviews. This platform sucks. I am using this platform for my 8th grade pre-algebra class and I hate it so much first, the teachers don't even look like they want to be there second, the whole format of the program is so boring. Like the white video on a grey background so boring. The constant bugs, lag, and glitches, totally ruin the whole thing, not like there was anything to begin with. There is so much repetition, no encouragement, and I just don't see how you could rate it above one star. And also, the instructors talk so quietly, even when my computer is at 100% volume, I can barely hear when I am in class. Egregious. This was the platform offered to the virtual learning students where my 7 year old attends school. After hours of frustration and wasted time, my son hit the nail on the head when he said, learning isn't supposed to be like this. I improvised moment to moment and was able to offer my child so much more that this farcical platform. 
that should be no surprise since I am genuinely invested in my son's intellectual curiosity and not trying to make a financial gain at the expense of trusting parents and teachers. I don't even want to know why a seven-year-old, a little kid who probably hasn't even learned about subtraction would do edgenuity. Here's a title of an article about edgenuity. Edgenuity software wasn't meant for a pandemic. That didn't stop some school districts. Edgenuity is so bad that it actually made it to the news. Here is what the news had to say about edgenuity. A robot is my teacher, said student, a senior who had taken advanced placement classes before the coronavirus pandemic arrived. I put thought into it. I felt like I answered the question. But I didn't get to find out what I did wrong. It turned out that there were a lot of critics of Edgenuity, an education tech company based in Scottsdale, Arizona, and owned by private investors. Edgenuity sells an online curriculum for grades K-12, and before the pandemic, it was known in large part for credit recovery, online classes for students who had previously failed courses or otherwise needed to catch up. Then the pandemic hit leaving school districts to figure out how to suddenly educate entire schools over the internet. And Edgenuity has bore the brunt of a lot of the frustration in recent months. In an emailed statement sent after this article was initially published, Edgenuity CEO Sari Factor said that when school districts asked the company for its help in an unprecedented time, we stepped up to fill a needed gap to support learning helping school leaders manage in a no-win environment. Factor said that the company empathizes with the frustration of parents. We know that there is a real difference between the implementation of online learning programs as a stopgap solution, where many districts had no alternative, and the true promise of digital learning, where in the hands of teachers, Personalized learning driven by continuous assessment will lead to great success for students, she said. It's funny how the CEO of Edgenuity felt bad about the teachers, parents and students, and yet they didn't even try to improve or even change Edgenuity in any way. Kinda questions Edgenuity's loyalty. You should totally check out NBCnews.com, link is in the description. Also the link to the news article is in the description. There are plenty more articles, stories, and websites that show people's opinions and thoughts about edgenuity. And believe me, nobody is a fan of edgenuity. There is a website called Fulfildragonpress.org. The link to their website is in the description, and they also made an article as to why edgenuity is not suitable for children. Here is why Edgenuity is so bad. Let me read what they said. Edgenuity is the definition of busy work. It consists of tedious tasks, videos you can't scheme through and mainstream assignments you can find the answers to online. It almost makes me want to mute the videos and work on something useful. This should be concerning and appalling to educators. If assignments are this vague, there is an issue in the learning curve. It is also extremely easy to get behind in a subject because each class has about six tasks per day. This teaches students to rush through the courses quickly, rather than taking the time to make sure they understand. Likewise, a majority of teachers do not comply with this new system. In teacher Sherry Yula's opinion, Edgenuity has some important features such as translation, but the repetitive nature of the format, the complete lack of interactivity and the generic tone make it completely unsuitable for students who must use it for four, five, or even six courses. A lot of websites and news articles are saying Edgenuity is terrible, so there are 1000 s of people if not more are against Edgenuity worldwide. I know what you're thinking. These facts don't exactly make Edgenuity disgusting but rather just a bad program in general. Well, I'm going to soon tell you about the really, really sinister actions Edgenuity has done. Seriously, what I'm about to tell you will probably hate Edgenuity as much as I do. 
Edgenuity has been recently going after people who try to criticize Edgenuity. Edgenuity has been super sensitive and has been trying to get rid of YouTube videos that try to speak the truth about Edgenuity. Edgenuity has even decided to illegally attack and threat an underage YouTuber who is about only 14 or 15 years old. Edgenuity claimed to take legal action if the child didn't delete a video that somehow offended Edgenuity. I would show the video, but I couldn't find it. Edgenuity probably got the video taken down. This really shows how despicable Edgenuity really is. Edgenuity has illegally attempted to take down lots of videos made by underage YouTubers, trying to claim that it's all legal action. I did some research and threatening minors on social media is a federal crime and it can get you locked up for at least five years. This means that the CEO and the founder of Edgenuity, which are none other than Jonathan Greyer and Sorry Factor could both could locked up in prison for at least five years because of this evidence. I don't usually call out people out and say they need to go to prison, but Jonathan Greyer and Sorry Factor definitely need to be locked up. You might think I'm making this up, but I know two YouTubers that can back me up. There's this YouTuber called TVRDA he's probably around 15-17 years old. Even though he is a minor the Edgenuity people do not care, as they have tried many times to copyright strike his videos. Edgenuity has tried to find his email without his consent and has threatened him to stop making videos against Edgenuity. TVRDA has made quite a few videos claiming how bad Edgenuity really is. TVRDA has almost 1,000 subscribers which is probably more than I'll get in a long time. He is an awesome YouTuber and I really think you should subscribe to him. Without any more time to waste I'm going to let TVRDA explain why Edgenuity is so disgustingly bad. Here is the clip. Alright listen, I'm here, I've got my PC, I think it works, I don't even know anymore. And I think... I think we should make another Edgenuity video. Listen, in the past three other videos I made on Edgenuity, I kept on talking about how much I hated the Unor interface and how much I wish they would really just change that. And I'll tell you this right now, that experience is probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my life. To the point where I flat out just didn't do it. When I say absolutely nothing's changed, I mean literally nothing's changed. I go on to Edgenuity's reviews, they all look as bad as I remember them being, and I go into the comments section of all of my Edgenuity videos and they are all still very hateful towards Edgenuity. So the question arises: why doesn't Edgenuity do anything about this? Well, they do. A lot of people would probably think that the beginning of this video was me just joking around with a cinematic thing trying to show off, but it wasn't just for that purpose. Edgenuity actually did send me a cease and desist to my email. I don't know how they got it, but they did get it. And I'm not sure if any of you have noticed, but the third Edgenuity video was taken down for a short amount of time because it was on copyright grounds. So it goes to show you that Edgenuity, instead of fixing their problems, would rather just attack whoever says, hey, you suck. Which is a really bad marketing scheme if you think about it. Because now I can make a fourth video exposing the bullshit. So you would really think that after all of this, you would really think that after all the comments, you would really think that after all the bad reviews, after all the bad emails, after all the bad press, all the bad articles, you would think maybe in some way they would change their bullshit, but they just don't. And they would rather get pissed at you for saying it's bad. Handily, I would like to say I hope I never have to use Edgenuity ever again. I just don't understand why Edgenuity is such a used platform when there are other better places like Clever and Khan Academy that you could be using to an alternative of Edgenuity, but that's just beyond maybe. Maybe it's cheaper? That's a lie because Edgenuity isn't cheaper either. What the f So the parents, grandparents, and young teens who are thinking about ed using Edgenuity, I strive, I plead, and I beg you to watch the other three videos prior to this video. You should pretty much say, hey, I really hope the CEO of Edgenuity gets round-dogged by a f semi-truck.
So despite my best efforts, this company will continue to strive, I will continue to make views, and I will continue to get subscribers. But that just means there are that many more children that will have to suffer to the evil hand of this corporation. So that is my recap to Edgenuity. TVRDA basically did all the explaining for me lol. The link to his channel is in the description. You should totally check it out and subscribe to him. Another YouTuber who made a video explaining Edgenuity is called Soup Does Things. His channel link is in the description. He is an awesome underrated YouTuber as well. Without any time to waste let's begin the clip. I guess by now you can see why Agenuity is so hated, but before I end the video I would like to address my personal opinion on Agenuity. As you can probably guess, the program disgusts me. Again, I was a victim of Agenuity. This program made me sob because I thought I was going to be one of the few people to pass Agenuity. That's when I realized Agenuity was a global issue. It was even said on the news that Agenuity wasn't meant for virtual learning and pretty much learning in general. The Agenuity instructors talk like they're in 0.25 times speed and they sound like unexcited robots. If you want to know what led to the purpose of Agenuity, Jonathan Greyer and his followers were fresh out of money financially, so they decided to whip up a program that seemed like it was created within four hours because it's so bad. They don't care about the education of students, and they even let children under 14 do this program, which is outrageous. Imagine an 11-year-old doing 10 or more hours of work per day. This program needs to be banned. It baffles me that it's still not banned yet. If Agenuity continues, more kids will be traumatized by the evil hands of Agenuity. Even my pal Yoshi360 had to deal with Agenuity, shout out to him by the way. Agenuity takes 10 plus hours to do, but in the end you hardly learn anything out of it. It's ridiculous how kids under 14 have to do this program because the amount of work children have to do is just insane. I have done Agenuity during my 8th grade year, in other words when I was 13 and 14 years old. I know Agenuity isn't good because I have experienced it firsthand and there is no fun in it. Education is supposed to be fun to learn but Agenuity doesn't know the meaning. However, there is still hope to end Agenuity. There are two websites in the description that lead to change.org petitions that help ban Agenuity. Please at least consider checking out the Agenuity banning petitions because by doing that, you are helping save children's mental health from the evil wrath of Agenuity. If you enjoy my video, it would be nice of you if you could click that subscribe button, and liking the video would be recommended. Also, you should totally check out my fire distract against Agenuity, and you should totally check the other YouTubers and websites in the description. I'm not even kidding someone needs to apprehend Sorry Factor and Jonathan Greyer. They can't be roaming around in free society. I'm gonna have to end the video here. See you soon.